Welcome to another video of the Before You Buy series where we talk about brand new skins and upcoming skins. I'm the Skin Appraiser and this is Prestige Star Guardian Soraka. Prestige Star Guardian Soraka is of course a prestige skin with a price tag of 100 prestige points. For the splash art, the details and textures look amazing. The textures are so good and high quality to a point that it might affect your expectations going into the skin. But nonetheless, the splash art looks great. I will give it a 10 out of 10. For the accuracy, I think most of it is pretty accurate. But we have some minor ones like the size of the crystal at the center of the staff is bigger here in the splash art than in game. And the texture of the wings on her waist is also different. Just some minor inaccuracies but we have something that again baited some people and that is the butterfly visual effects surrounding Soraka. Like they are expecting to see them in game but not a single butterfly can be seen, well at least at the time of this recording. I guess I can see their point but it never really occurred to me until I encountered those comments. But yeah, there's that. I will give the accuracy a 9 out of 10. For the appeal, she looks really really nice, and the Star Guardian is always a popular skin line so I will give the appeal a 10 out of 10. These are the loading screens, borders, and icons that comes with the skin. For the in-game model, the design is actually not that far from the original SG Soraka. Unlike the changes they made with the KDA All Out Kaisa Prestige Edition, this time they went back and dialed down all the craziness and went with the simple changes on the skin, which is uh, pretty good. The skin is in this very traditional white and gold color palette for the Prestige Edition. The hair is new, not just the color but the swirls on the original SD Soraka is gone. The horn is gone as well. They replace it with this floating crown thingy that is barely noticeable in game. Yeah, I like the idea, looks good in the splash art. But in game they are barely noticeable unless you really look for them. The outfit looks fine for me. But the wings on the side of her legs looks dull in this transparent rose gold texture. The staff design looks good to me. Overall the skin is good but it lacks something new to offer us. I will give the design a 9 out of 10. For her face, she looks good. Just don't zoom in too much I guess. Cause the contour of her face model can kinda mess with the perspective. But yeah, in game she looks good so I will give her a 9 out of 10. As for the animations, we have the same recall animation as the original SG Soraka, and uh, the rest stays the same. No, I'm not happy to see you. Yes, that is a horn growing out of my head. I will not save you. For the visual effects, all of the abilities are in this golden color palette which is pretty common for a prestige edition. They are not just a recolor of the original but not that different either. I like the glow effect on her Q and the almost cosmic design of her E ability. W and R looks good as well. I will give the visual effects a 9 out of 10. For the sound effects, they are pretty much the same as the original SG Soraka. I will give it a 9 out of 10. Thank <laughs> you. 
Overall, Prestige Stargard and Soraka is a good skin, although I feel like the Prestige Edition in general is getting a little boring. The white and gold color palette can sometimes hinder the potential of a great skin. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyways, I only recommend this skin if you really like Soraka or maybe main her. And of course, you might want to collect all of her skins. This is a limited edition skin after all. But if you're a casual player and that is looking to buy a skin for Soraka, I highly recommend getting the Dawn or Nightbringer Soraka than this one. Those skins offer so much more because they are a legendary skin. And personally, I prefer those two. The total score is 65 out of 70. I will give Prestige Star Guardian Soraka a Grand Master rating. So, are you looking to buy this skin? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, this video is my personal opinion. Leave a like and subscribe for more skin appraisal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.